What's up internet? I am Manish from rebellionrider.com and welcome to the very first video of Python for Beginner series. Here you will learn in detail how to install Python on Windows 10. This video is divided into three sections. In the first section we will learn how to download Python for your operating system. In the second part we will learn how to properly configure and install Python on your Windows. And in the third section we will learn how to set the environment variable for Python in Windows 10. Thus I would suggest you to watch the video till the end. As of today Python 3.7.1 is the latest version and I am going to install the same on Windows 10 64 bit version. In case you are watching this video much later when the Python version is updated then don't worry, the installation process will be the same. Installation process will also be the same if you are installing Python on Windows 10 32 bit version. So sit back, relax and follow along. Now without wasting much of your time, let's start the tutorial. But first, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's start. To install Python on our machine, we first need to download it. Python is an open source programming language thus it is freely available to download for all of us. So let's see how we can download this on our system. First go to the Python's official website which is python.org. Here we are. On this website you have to click this download menu. If you hover your cursor over this menu like this then it will expand further and show you different options for downloading Python. If you want you can use these menus also. But I will rather click this main download menu which will open the download page. If you scroll down a little on this page then you can see download options for all the later version of Python. But we will be downloading the latest version which is Python 3.7.1. To download that scroll up come to the top of the page and click this big yellow button which is saying download Python 3.7.1. Like I said earlier this version could be different if you are watching this video in the future. There is no need to worry because the installation process will be the same regardless the version. So just relax and follow the video. I will leave the direct link of this page in the description. Do check it out. Ok as soon as you click this button the downloading of the executable setup file of python will start. It might take some time so uh, I seems like it's already downloaded. Ok no problem. Now let's move on to the next step which is configuration. For that we need to initiate the installation process. Let's do that. So here is the executable file which we just downloaded. Right click on it and select run as administrator. Now you will get a warning. Don't worry about that. Just say yes and move ahead. Now you will be presented with a pop-up installation window. The configuration part of the installation starts from here. Let's do it. On this window you will be provided with two options. Install now and customize installation. Along with these two options at the bottom of the window you will also get two checkboxes. Install launcher for all users and add python 3.7 to path. For the time being I am leaving the second option which is add python 3.7 to path unchecked because I will add python directly to the environment variable manually at the end of this video. But if you don't want so much hassle then check this checkbox here. The first option which says install launcher for all user is again optional but recommended option. Enabling this option will install python launcher for all the users of your system. So it's completely on you whether you want to enable this option or not. In my case I am the only user of my machine so I will leave it enabled. Well now let's come to the installation. Here we are given two options for installing python on our windows 10. First is install now. This option will install python on your windows machine with all the default settings. With this option you will not have any control on the installation process. But 
if you want to control what and how the installation should proceed then choose the second option which is customize installation that is exactly what I am going to do now click customize installation and move ahead here we are on the second step of the installation which is optional features as the name suggests all the features listed here are optional let me quickly brief you on all of them so that when the time comes you know where to go but if you are in a hurry then let all these checkboxes remain checked and jump ahead on the timestamp which is flashing on your screen anyways option number one documentation first option is for documentation having documentation handy is always a good idea you never know when you will need to see the syntax of a specific function so keep it checked and let it install option number two pip pip is a tool for installing python distributions or zip packages a python distribution can contain anything from a small add-on to a full-fledged software upgrade in order to manage and install those distributions you will need pip it is kind of package manager for python since python 3.4 pip is bundled with the installation files before that we used to install this package manager separately installing pip is highly recommended so keep this checkbox also checked and let it get installed option 3 tcl slash tk and ide ide stands for integrated development learning environment this is a cli which comes bundled with python along with ide editor enabling this option will also install tk inter toolkit which is a python default gui package this option is not required that much at least for the time being so if you want you can skip it but i will recommend you to install it option 4 python test suite this feature will install all the standard libraries for python application testing such as unit testing doc testing etc etc installing this feature is again highly recommended so keep this checked and install it option 5a py launcher py launcher enables you to launch python cli through programs like command prompt or windows shell I like working on CLI like command prompt so I will install it but if you don't want to then leave this box unchecked option 5p for all users enabling this option installs the py launcher again for all the users of your system I'm keeping it enabled as I said I'm the only user of my machine now click next and move ahead now we are on the advanced option page here we have seven advanced options most importantly on this page of wizard we can also customize the location of python installation which i am going to do right after i fix these seven advanced options okay let me make this easy for you the last three options in the list must be installed in these three options we are telling this python installation wizard to install all the debug symbols and binaries along with the bytecodes of all the standard libraries which we will be using with our program so check these three boxes immediately now we are left with the first four options among these four options two are already checked the first one of these two is associate file with python this option will link all the files with python extensions like .py .pyt .pyc or .pyo with the python launcher or editor while the second option which is create shortcut for installed applications will create a shortcut of application for you now we are left with option number one and option number four once again i'm installing my python for all the users so i will check the first option if you don't want to install python for all the users of your system then leave this box unchecked option number four add python to environment variables i'm leaving it unchecked for the time being as i will be doing it manually right after completing this installation at the end of the video so keep watching now let's come to the part where we change the python installation directory's location the location you are specifying here will be the location which we have to add to the environment variable of our windows 10 operating system so make sure to copy and paste it somewhere safely because you will be needing it very soon let's change it you can specify whatever location you want 
I want to store my Python in C slash rebellion writer slash Python 37. So I will first delete this default path and replace it with the one which we decided. Done. Great. With this, we have successfully completed the configuration of our Python programming language on Windows 10. Now let's move on to the third step of the installation, which is install. To install the Python on your Windows, you simply have to click this install button. So let's install the Python and after that we will configure our environment variable. Let's hit install. Depending upon your computer's configuration, the installation might take some time. Here I will fast forward the video so that we can save some time. Setup was successful. If this is your first time and you choose to add environment variable automatically, then you might get a disable path length limit warning message, which will look something like this. Just go ahead and click on that. That's all you have to do. Anyways, now hit close and finish this installation. This completes the installation of Python on Windows 10. The only thing which is left here is to set the environment variable for Python. Let's quickly do that. To set the environment variable, first you need to go to the properties of your computer. For that, right click on my computer, sorry, this PC and then go to the properties. From here, you have to go to the advanced system settings, which is here. Clicking on advanced system settings will open a system properties window. Here make sure you are on advanced tab. If you are not then come to it. On advanced tab you will have to click the environment variable button which you can find at the bottom. Now you are on the environment variables window. On this window come to the system variable section and find the variable whose name is path. Here it is. Double click on it. Again, you will have another pop-up window. Here we have to add the location of our Python directory. For that, click new. Doing so will enable a new text field for you. In this text field, paste the location of your Python directory. This is the location c slash rebellion writer slash python 37 which we copied and saved earlier that's it now you are free to press ok and come out from all the pop-up windows with this you have successfully installed python on your windows 10 hope you enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned because in the next tutorial we will be learning how to write and execute our first python program please do make sure to give this tutorial a big thumbs up and share it with your friends on your social media most importantly please subscribe thanks for watching this is manish from rebellionrider.com good luck and godspeed